I'm Zev Friedman, and I live at Earth Haven Eco Village down near Rutherfordton. And I'm Justin Holt, and I live in the, the Reed Creek watershed. So people, the European settlers quickly cleared a lot of that bottomland, grew crops there, but that wasn't enough, so they started clearing the slopes, washed all the topsoil off, and that was one of the reasons that kudzu was brought in, was to deal with that erosion from, from cropping on steep slopes and, and massive loss of topsoil. Uh. I started to realize this, like this this plant that <clears throat> we're trained to to scorn. You know, it's like this this villainous invader that's like swallowing trees and ruining ecosystems um, is actually extremely useful, incredibly useful. So it was it was almost like I was being let in on the secret, you know, and so I could view the, the whole landscape in a new way. And then started to think like, well, what other plants do we have? A kind of uh, twisted relationship with culturally um, and, and, and what other things can we learn from these plants if we start to st start to focus on their on their beneficial aspects um, so was, so kudzu for me was kind of like a doorway into a new way of seeing the, the world and my relationship to it um, it was really powerful and it's still powerful I'm still still continuing to learn all kinds of new things it's going to be doing other things with it things that are uh, more off the beaten path of agriculture um, than, than growing annual crops, corn, beans, squash, wheat, all that stuff. And that's what I want to talk about now because this is the focus of permaculture. So the purpose of this step is to get the starches out of the root and suspend it into the water. And so <clears throat> you're, gonna, you're gonna basically just knead this until you feel like the water is pretty well saturated. And so the, the, the roots in this bucket are in a different stage, but the, the, basically the process is smash, wash, remove the roots, smash them again, take that wash water, put it into a settling vessel, then you wash the roots again, take that water, put it into a setting, settling vessel, and wash the roots one more time. So it's three washes and two smashes. Oh. So this is after Anna and I just siphoned off what we settled from Friday, and then, and then a few more. Oh, this, we siphoned it off yesterday morning, and then added a whole another container's worth of uh, yeah. of starchy solution. So it's still pretty brown. Mm -hmm. um, you can see there's some white. I've used kudzu root powder for upset stomach. I've used it for these canker sores that I've gotten since I was a kid. And just last year, right after we'd been making this powder, I started uh, just intuitively one time I had this really painful sore and I made a swish of the kudzu root powder and swished it and it immediately soothed it and it's, it healed twice as fast as it normally heal. Like, we're, 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 we're strategically choosing the, the roots that we're harvesting in this landscape so that it's actually part of the managing of this landscape that we're inside of right now. So it's helping us to improve the diversity and balance of the ecology that we're in the middle of. It's in the legume family or the pea family. That's the pea, the pea and bean family. The legume family are, are mo almost all of them are, are nitrogen fixers. Those are plants that bring nitrogen out of the air and put it into the soil. Nitrogen is the main plant macronutrient that causes that allows plants to put on tender vegetative growth at their tips. And so nitrogen fixing plants are essential in ecosystems all around the world. They're the ones who bring the nitrogen into the soil and make it available for other plants to use. And people who grow chestnuts commercially in the US are fertilizing their chestnut trees with chemical fertilizers, nitrogen fertilizer that they're spraying or putting on the ground in various forms, right? What if we have kudzu vines growing adjacent to the roots of the chestnut tree? The kudzu vine roots are fixing nitrogen and actually feeding nitrogen to the chestnuts. So isn't that beautiful? The chestnuts are providing a scaffold trellis for the kudzu. The kudzu is fertilizing the chestnuts. And so that's just actually mimicking what we're seeing going on right here on this forest edge. And what we're calling a problem is just a natural energetic dynamic that is present in the structure of the universe around us. So if we keep calling things problems, problems are gonna keep popping up. So instead we say, if there's something that appears to be a problem, that means that we haven't listened to its teaching enough and we haven't discovered the opportunity that's in that challenge. So instead, in permaculture, we try to say, where is the opportunity in that challenge? Where is the opportunity in that challenge? And what that question leads us to is a relationship with that being, whatever it is, that with that being. And so that's what we're trying to do is how do we get into a relationship with kudzu? Uh -huh.